Hello, uh, this is to demonstrate an Android application that's been written entirely in C++. Typically, Android applications are written in Java, but, uh, the, uh, but uh, the Qt library allows us to deploy Qt applications to Android. And how this works is that you write your C++ code, it compiles the Qt application, and you use a kit, an Android kit, to deploy that Qt application onto an Android device. The downside of that is that uh, only the most recent fairly recent uh, Android software is compatible with the Qt application, but it's relatively easy to update, hope, uh, ha, uh, assuming you have a relatively new device. So uh, this, the, the project here is a POS system. The reason I built this POS system is uh, because I'm currently working at a convenience store and, at, and uh, there's, no, there's no way to tell the prices. You have to have all of them memorized offhand and that's very cumbersome. So the remedy for this is uh, to have a POS system, and I thought it'd be a lot cheaper to make one myself instead of spending about a thousand dollars. So here we have here's a demonstration of the POS system. Okay. So here we have the main display, and as you can see here is the uh, main entry, and uh, to your right is the text browser where all the information is displayed and here the user has a bunch of options so we'll click on inventory so here you can see the inventory clearly nothing has been loaded up and you have the various options to choose from to, to input and to choose from so here we have barcode, item, stock, minimum cost style and I know minimum is cut off it's a bit of an issue with the display on the tablet um, that will be resolved sh shortly and then here you have your uh, options um, you have your insert, load, save, so on and so forth. So, for demonstration purposes, I've uh, pre I've uh, pre saved a, a small database that I just scanned. So, push load. So here's our database, and as you can see, there's Diet Pepsi, Mountain Dew Pepsi, and uh, so the user has to input the, the name, the barcode, stock, minimum order, cost, sell, and profit. And uh, the user can edit these lines. They can he or she can delete insert more and so on so let's hit the back button and we'll show a quick demonstration so i'm going to scan uh here's the mountain dew i'm going to scan it okay, so i've scanned the mountain dew and as you can see you have a bunch of options of uh information being displayed the barcode the item name the price and i know it says plus tax this is not a food item but it's okay for now and stock so some things you can do for example is you can stock more let's say you want to scan more into the system so you push restock now you have six mountain dews so let's check if that's true but inventory stock mountain dew six so everything's being updated accordingly um so some quick some quick some side notes so typically i recommend building android applications using java but uh, I've, I, orig I originally had the, the idea to start to deploy the application onto uh, a Raspberry Pi, which I'm currently using to prop up the, to my, my cell phone to record this video. But um, I thought that the Android device would be a lot simpler since they're cheaper, uh, uh, including the monitor, if you count the cost for a, for a display, I should say. But other than that, this is just to show you uh, Android double application written in C++ um, and uh, thanks for watching.